Hello and welcome to this Excel video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show us how to convert number to proper time format in Power Query. So let's get started. Now, based on our sample data set, we have this transaction data and we have converted this data set into an Excel table using the Control T shortcut. So you can see the table design and we have given data as the meaningful table name. Now, what we're gonna do is simple. In column B, we have request time, okay? Now, we have a bunch of numbers here, but these are not proper time formats. For this time, this is gonna be 10, 17 minutes, 27 seconds. This is gonna be five, 28 minutes, 28 seconds. Now, how do we format this in a proper time format, okay? Now let's do that in a power query. Now, because we have formatted data as an Excel table, we can go ahead to the data tab under the get and transform data group. I can say from table slash range. So I click on that. All right, so our data set is now in the power query editor. Now let me just do a quick date transformation. I click on this icon and I choose proper date format. Now in the change column type, I can actually replace or add a new step. So I'm gonna choose replace current step. Now that's fine, okay. Now we have the request time, okay. Now I wanna to try to change this whole number to, let's say time. I'm gonna get a bunch of errors, okay because I can actually replace the time just like that. So I'm gonna delete this change type step in the applied step. Now I have this number back. So what I'm gonna do first is to split these numbers into different columns based on number on the column, the request time, and I click under the home tab, split column, and I wanna choose by number of characters. So I'm gonna do that. Now in the split column dialog box, I need to specify the number of characters, okay? Now, in this case, I wanna split using two as the number of character. Now, very important, I need to specify the split type. Now, by default, the split column will perform repeatedly, but I actually want to do once as far right as possible. So I choose that and I click on okay. All right, so you can actually see now, so we have this new column. Now, this is going to be our seconds. So again, I'm going to split these remaining numbers. Okay, we have four, okay? So again, split column by number of characters. Again, I want to specify two. And once again, as far right as possible. So I click on, okay. So we have three columns. This is going to be for our hours our minutes and our seconds. Now, having done that, I need to match the three columns, okay? So I'm gonna hold down the shift key and I click on the third column. So we have the hours, the minutes and the seconds. So having done that, I can right click and choose match columns or in the o transform tab, I can choose match columns under the text column group. So I can choose match columns. Now in the match columns, I need to specify the separator. Now based on the time, we use colon. So I'm gonna choose from this drop down colon and then can actually give a meaningful name. Let's just call this one time. And when I click okay, we have matched the time into a single column. Now we can go ahead and choose the proper time data type. So I choose time and that's all. So we have the time properly displayed. Now let's change this to um, date, okay? And let's you know just do some little tidying up and this should be our text, right click and I wanna change type to text type, okay. Now that's fine. So this is actually our focus. So we can actually see that we have converted it to proper time format. Now let's go ahead and close and close and load tool. So we can actually load into an Excel table and compare the result, okay. So in the import data wizard, I can actually choose the current sheet and let's choose the destination cell and I click on okay. And let's close the queries and connection tax pane. Now you can actually see that we have achieved the right result. Okay, so this is gonna be 10, 17 minutes, 27 seconds, which is correct, 10, 17, 27. Now the second one, the leading zero is actually knocked out, okay, by Excel, no problem. The power query is able to interpret the correct time, okay, which is 
um, 5 28 minutes 28 seconds am so this is essentially how we can use the power query to convert number to proper time format now if you enjoyed this video you can like share comment and consider subscribing to the channel if you have not done so thank you and bye for now cheers